doll too. And I'm doing 45 stitches. I'm using a size 13 needle, which you will not want to do for this lace project, but just for demonstration purposes. And I'm using worsted weight yarn so you can see everything I'm doing. We want to cast on 45 stitches, and I'm using a long tail cast on. Okay, so I'm just going to cast on 45. I recommend for this project that you cast on with a needle larger, one to two sizes larger than you're actually going to use in your knitting. I'm just going to cast on 45. Okay, we have our stitches casted on, long tail cast on, and I cast them on here onto a size 13 needle so that you can see what I'm doing. You want to knit them off onto a smaller needle. This is an 11. So we're just going to do the knit. You take your needle, you put it in towards the back. You want to wrap the yarn around your knitting needle, your working needle. Pull the loop through and pull that loop off of your needle. You want to go in like this, wrap it around, pull it through. You want to face both needles away from you, go into the loop this way, go around and pull it through and pull it off. Around. The reason we cast on a larger needle is so that we have a little bit of give here at the bottom. It's really important when you're doing lace so that you can block it out and it will look right. One thing I did want to talk about is the way I hold my yarn, a lot of people, actually it's very common, more common so, to hold your yarn around your finger up here so you can wrap it, like that. Okay, that's not how I learned and so it's difficult for me to do it that way. It doesn't really matter how you hold it as long as you wrap it correctly. So keep that in mind. I keep tension on my yarn by wrapping it around my little finger. And then I just grab the yarn and go around like so. Okay. I have my first three rows knitted. Knitted. <laughs> For my swatch, The Secret of the Soul 2. And now we're going to work on the first pattern row on the chart. Uh, row number one. All the odd rows are pattern rows and all the even rows are return rows. Pattern row number one says to knit six. So we're going to do just what we were doing before, knit six. The chart says to knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this symbol is a knit two together. See? It's leaning to the right. So we're going to knit two together. And that symbol is a yarn over. So we're going to do that. Okay. To knit two together, we've knit our six here and we're going to knit two together. So we're going to go just what it sounds like. Go back behind these two and knit them at the same time. Pull them both off at the same time. And our yarn over, you bring it around the needle, your right handed needle, towards you, bring it between them. And then your next stitch is a knit stitch, so you'll knit it. And what that does, it creates an extra stitch in there, right there. And that's where your holes come from in your lace. Okay, our pattern says to knit two after the yarn over. 
and then our chart says to knit two together. Remember, we go through here, we knit the two stitches together, and then yarn over. You bring the yarn through between the needles towards you, and then you do the next stitch, which is going to be a knit. that and then it wasn't it too so we're going to do one more okay. it's hard to see but that's where the yarn over is right there it's kind of leaning to the left and there's another one leaning to the left okay this line right here is the center of your swatch in the center of all of our patterns we put a, a a highlighted line and that will tell you where the center of your knitting is and then since you're working this way on row one we did the knit two together the yarn over the knit two knit two together yarn over knit two and we kept going we knit these five stitches in here and now we're going to do these over here this is a yarn over we already know that this little guy here is leaning to the to the left so we look down here on the chart and it's slip, slip, knit, or slip one, knit one, pass slip okay, stitch. We're going over. to do the yarn over, which we already know how to do. And then I prefer to do the slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over. This is not as hard as it sounds. You want to take this first stitch and slip it off of that needle onto the right needle, from your left needle to your right needle. Then you want to knit the next stitch around here and knit it okay then you want to go back to the other stitch that you slipped stick your needle in like you're going to purl and pull it over and off the needle that's passing the slip stitch over Okay, we'll do that again we're going to yarn over which is bringing the yarn through your needles towards you then we're going to slip the first stitch just like we're going to knit it, but we're going to just take it off that needle onto this, onto the right needle. Off the left needle, onto the right. Then we're going to knit the next stitch. Slip it off and go back and get that stitch we slipped to begin with. And pass it over and off. That's passing the slip stitch over. 